two new interviews today. So of course we've got the Rogersville Gazette, is it? Who have interviewed Candace for their paper. And we've got um, the interview room who have spoken to H and his mother Ellie and the grandmother with regards to missing girls, Summer Moon Utah Wells. Now, it's all as clear as mud now, isn't it? Great. Things that concern me, initially, there's a lot. There's a lot. But initially, I wonder who's planting what information to whom and why. Who is misspeaking just out of lack of knowledge or fake knowledge, you know, false knowledge, and, and who's doing things maliciously. And then what is the truth? Don's, um, Don, we're told, by H, took two boys to work with him that day. And Ellie interjects W and J. Now, I don't know if they're the middle one and the elder, or the elder and the younger, or the younger and the middle. But one child was, one child left alone at home on Ben Hill Road. If it's true about the creeper who's hanging around wanting to touch children, um, then why would they be left alone? Why would any of the children be left there, even all three of them, without adult supervision? Because H has also said Don called Candace and he listened in, so I don't know whether she told everyone in the car to be quiet because she was going to put it on speaker because she's driving or if, you know, um, she's just said hush and she's she's spoken and then he's been told what Don said. Uh, but apparently Don's called Candace and said, you know, that creeper that's hanging around wanting to touch the children, he's here again today. And we're told that there's this guy that wants to maybe squat on some property nearby and um, take it over. And that they're a creeper and that they um, are predatory on their children. <laughs> so did Don get told this by the one child that might have been left there alone, by the three child children that were left there alone? Did they call Daddy and say, hey, that guy's around? Or was it when Don was home? Because if he's taken two, he's gone back there to drop them off. And... Did he see this person then and that's when he's called Candace? I mean, this whole thing is just truly bizarre. And now suddenly we're told, oh no, this is something they knew about. These people have been doing this or this person's been doing this, you know, hanging out, being creepy. We haven't heard about them in the last five weeks, but, you know, we're hearing about them now, right? So... Did Don take children to work? It means that he's been at the house. You know, when you hear about Daddy going off to work, you're thinking, well, Daddy's gone off to work and, um, excuse me, he's left in the morning and he's come home at night. Uh, this may not be true. How many times is Daddy Dearest bouncing back and forth to Ben Hill Road and off to wherever he's going? So that is as clear as mud. That wasn't queried. Oh, Don took two children to work. No follow-up. Which child was left home alone? And, okay, so there's creepers and this child is home alone. Is he the one that rang? Um, and when did Don return these other two children home? Because apparently all three boys were there uh, when, you know, Candy and Candace and Summer are planting flowers. So no follow-up on that. That is so... Annoying, but I can see that that's something that he would probably ask um, Maybe just to keep a little bit of knowledge for himself, you know, it's his interview So that's really frustrating <laughs> um, But don't you find it weird you find you know, I find that we can't really trust anybody's testimony because uh, It could be that ideas are being planted in people's mind purposefully, maybe with this phone conversation between Don and Candace. Uh, maybe has H been told to insert this? We've got Ellie, his mother, sitting there very intensely, nodding and mm, 
you know, um, willing him on to say the right thing. But at the same time, she's also quite comfortable getting up and leaving the table for a little while. But that's when uh, Grandma does some very uh, strange little motions uh, that could just be me being very, very cynical because people do funny things. They tap their elbows and they make hand movements and then they stop again and go back to being a stone uh, when the mother returns to the table. But um, it's just all crazy. It's really crazy. And H, H also said that he thought Summer got out of the car at their house the second time. So, you know, Candace, Candy and Summer arrive there. Candace takes Summer inside to get her into a bathing costume. So they're at the house once, Ellie's house. And then they've returned for a second time to drop H off. And H was sure that Summer got out of the car. Ali corrected him. No, no, no. And you just don't know who's colluding with what. But, you know, it does seem that Ali is trying to say that um, Don and Candace could be up to something. And that they, they're possibly at, at, at best just terrible parents. Um, yeah, I, I'd love to know. I would have loved that to have been followed up, you know. So which two children, the younger children, leaving a 12-year-old at home? Uh, is he the one, if this has truly happened, you know, as it's said, is he the one that's called Don and then Don's called Candace about the creepy guy? Um, we haven't heard about the creepy guy. Just like, you know, Don's saying, oh, we've got great neighbours, and then now Candace is blown away that there's um, a child predator eight minutes walk away. Well... You let your children play in the woods around your property and one property adjoining yours um, is linked to someone that's been in prison for the felony of child pornography, right? But you're letting your child children play around in the woods, um, your boy, you know, uh, but you don't know who your neighbours are. You only stopped at one neighbour, Candace. See, that's the other thing, you see. She took Grandma's truck again. It does make me wonder, is Don just driving around in this red car? You know, here you go, Candace. Here's a new car. Oh, but I drive it. You drive gra Grandma's old Silverado. Um, you know, because she took the truck again to go and look for Summer after she's realised she's just gone. And she drives to the little old cemetery. There's actually a newer cemetery up the road with the churches. So she possibly just went up Beach Creek Road uh, west to Roger, toward Rogersville, but not very far. So there's an old cemetery sort of across opposite Ben Hill Road um, over Beach Creek uh, Road. And then a newer church further up. So she says anyway, she went to the church. It was probably that one. And then she's driven right into the holler as far as she could go after going another way for a little ways. I think when she says she's gone into the holler as far as the truck could take her, it maybe meant going along Ben Creek, Ben Hill Road. Um, it's a dead end and probably unsealed maybe. Um, so she's driven along there. She's only stopped at one neighbour and this is the neighbours just down at the corner of Ben Hill Road. Um, and then the abandoned property is across from that and there's some sheds and things and maybe this is the property that they're trying to say that a squatter is trying to you know make a move on to to take over ownership of the land if they can stay there and do a few things to upkeep um, the land and get services put on for example electricity or water they can stay a number of years and then the property just becomes theirs maybe those are the squatters um, laws in America similar say to England um, it, yeah, it doesn't seem to cover an hour, you know, this little drive that Candace did. You know, she says the boys took their walkie-talkies and everything. They were looking for summer as well. Um, yeah, and looking all through the house and just yelling out. You know, if they're just making witnesses or just putting these boys in as some sort of accomplices telling the story about this, this is so, it's heinous to do that. So I hope that's not the case, even if it's just play acting. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's bizarre because now 
H, anyway, H has kind of, he's put Don at the home during the day. Um, if it's true that he's taken, you know, two sons. And I just can't get over the fact that then that, well, that would mean he's left one son. And then Candace has left the home with Summer and her grandmother just leaving this other son there alone and then we're told it's worse because uh yeah there's a creepy guy that hangs around or, or more than one it was maybe um so it's as clear as mud you know it really is as clear as mud we got a little bit you know it was kind of how we suspected you know with the pharmacy and the hospital and the lake and you know so candy stayed in the the truck at the lake at the stable at uh, the stables sorry not the lake but at the stables for a little while you know getting some more uh juice on her phone you know and then she joined candace at the water side and was talking to candace um, and that's when h was in the water wading and she saw summer was swimming underwater she'd gone under the surface he could kind of see her didn't know how long she was under maybe 10 or 20 seconds and he went over and just picked her up out of the water and uh he says um you know she was giggling or something like that so yeah there's still things that are not clear where was don at all points of the day were the children left alone there or only one of them and when did don go back to the house what is he saying to Candace about this creeper? Is this just some sort of construct? Because it fits the narrative of an abduction, you know, because this hasn't been brought up in the five weeks. It's truly bizarre. And are they using H or is he complicit? Um, and, and what is Ellie's role when she's definitely looking like she's trying to make sure h toes the line a little bit at one point it seemed like oh it was total bullshit um yeah you go and go and watch it if you haven't already you probably already have everybody probably has um i just saw it by accident doing a yeah doing a, a do a summer well search morning um noon and night and just saw that it was on so i watched the end of it and then i, I went back and listened and um yeah you've got the stimming of h you know his stimming stimulation with the popper and everything he said some are quite liked the poppers to you know have that something to to play with You know, oh, come around and sit, and sit with us so that you're not in the hot car while you're waiting for Gran at the hospital, right? But it's then okay to leave H and Summer in a hot car for an hour, he said. They were grocery shopping. Her and Grandmother, you know, probably doing the family's grocery shopping. That makes sense to do it in uh, Kingsport when you're um, there, you know. But, you know, they were an hour. So it was okay to leave them in the car for an hour while they do grocery shopping. Um, yeah, whatever, but it just doesn't make sense, the reason for coming around, you know, to Ellie's in the first instance, you know. Why even say that? Why not just say, yeah, so we went to visit, we were going to pick up H. Yeah. But yeah, the whole Don thing, this, see, Don is just the, he's a slippery little sucker, isn't he? Yeah. But I think, um, I think it might come unraveled for Don very soon. Anyway, I better go speak to you later.